How much climate change occurs depends on a number of variables. The most important is how much humanity does to reduce its greenhouse gas emissions. But assuming that we stay on the same pathway where we are now, several things can be anticipated. The most obvious is sea level rise. We know that the seas are now eight or 10 inches higher than they were uh, uh, at the beginning of the last century. Another very important impact is heat. We are seeing record heat occurring in various parts of the world. It's, it's devastating for livestock and it's devastating for certain kinds of crops. So that brings another impact of climate change, which is water shortages and drought. That combined with extreme heat uh, is going to have a, a very negative impact on agricultural productivity. The Syrian crisis was partly precipitated by climate change. A number of studies have shown that one of the contributors was that drought caused a lot of people to move from the rural areas into the cities and that increased uh, tensions and, and, and conflict. When that's combined with an unstable political situation uh, or all kinds of other difficulties, many people want to leave. The number of people who would be displaced by climate change can be one or two orders of magnitude greater than what we saw in the Syrian situation. And so the, the issue of what to do with very large numbers of displaced people is one of the most serious issues and I think is likely to be a source of tremendous global tension in the uh, middle or latter parts of this century.